The Quebec teacher who won an international award for teaching excellence is back in Canada. She won the Global Teacher Prize during a ceremony in Dubai last week. Maggie McDonnell now has to figure out how to spend her $1 million prize. Angela McKenzie sat down with her. In one of the most northern areas of Quebec, in the tiny Arctic village of Salouet, Maggie McDonnell teaches Indigenous youth. It's home to about 1,400 Inuit people, and it's nestled in these beautiful mountains. She's lived in the remote community for the past six years, nearly 2,000 kilometres from Montreal. Her approach focuses on acts of kindness, and she promotes healthy lifestyle choices through the fitness centre and running club she established. It's initiatives like these that earned her the prestigious Global Teacher Prize. Just being a humble person from the backwoods of Nova Scotia, to have made it to the top ten was an enormous achievement in and of itself. At a ceremony in Dubai, McDonnell says it was surreal when her name was announced from the space station. She even took a few of her students along for the ride. Now that she's back in Canada, Maggie McDonnell plans to put her $1 million prize towards starting a non-profit with her students, one that will strategically address youth issues they face every day. Some of them already are taking on leadership positions, so I just want to keep cultivating opportunities for them to enhance their, their skills. McDonnell wants to focus on the housing crisis in Salouet. She says the village is short a thousand homes and some of her students live with as many as 18 other people in a four-bedroom unit. I mean, what dignity is in that story? And, and, and to think of as Canadians, this is how we're treating uh, our Indigenous people. The village also witnessed six youth suicides in 2015. In a community that's dealing with collective trauma, McDonnell says the other priority is healing. I was particularly inspired by a professor, a Mohawk professor I had at McGill University who used to say, um, no one is healed until everyone is healed. In a few days, she'll journey back to Salouet to meet with her students so they can work together on this new beginning. When you see that level of commitment coming from the young people themselves, you want to match it. And, and that's for sure one of the reasons why I love staying there. Angela McKenzie, CTV News.